welcome to my channel if you are new welcome it's a pleasure to have you if you are not new it's always a pleasure to have you my name is Z and on this channel sustainability matters which means that I focus on slow fashion which means that I pull stuff from my closet I thrift as well as I swap clothing items and I try my very best to wear my synthetic items to death so with that said today we're going to look at fabrics or items I would never buy again so as you guys know leather is a huge trend this season and as I've said in a previous video I love leather I love the look of it I love how chic it looks it's a great piece for a night out and over the years I've incorporated many leather including four leather items into my closet and regrettably I am bearing and suffering the consequences of them today so this first piece was definitely a piece that I invested in about six or seven years ago and believe it or not I never actually got my money's worth from this particular item and you would see in a few minutes but it's a great piece for you to wear on evenings to meet up with the girls it's a really nice piece for a girls night out this piece is made from 95% polyester and 2% elastane which gives it a stretch what I love about it is the gorgeous the gorgeous ruffle details that you see oh I love a great midi skirt and when it comes in a fabric that is leather or in this case unfortunately for leather I just love it it it's such a statement look you don't need anything else as you can see I'm just pairing this with a simple top I thrifted this top about 18 to 20 years ago guys it's it's yeah it's a very old top and I also have the black to it as well which I believe is this one right here you're seeing and it's a hundred percent acrylic so definitely another synthetic fiber but guys as I've said before I am wearing my synthetic pieces to death and this is the key message to you guys the only thing that is an issue here is that it is easy to wear four leather pieces to death because they are not made to last oftentimes four leather items end up in the trash or in the landfill at a faster rate than traditional leathers because guys they are so easily damaged as is the case in point with the red skirt so because these are seasonal pieces I accidentally placed the black midi skirt with the red one on the same hanger and it got color transfer and of course this is definitely not gonna be wearable again so for most people it would end up in the trash or in a landfill because if you look at it right now it's it's not wearable it, it's damaged besides getting color transfer it also got torn by the metal part of the hanger so this is definitely an item that is destined for most people for the trash but one of the things that I could encourage you to do besides these sustainable tips is to often take your pieces that are no longer wearable and convert them into household items such as maybe a cushion or a toy for your pet these are great ways to keep them out of the landfill and at the same time I would encourage you never ever to invest in these pieces again
But if you already have them in your closet, like most of us do, definitely wear them to death. Style them up like I did here and get your cost to wear. And you can go for a monochromatic look like I showed you earlier or you can just mix it up like I did here for a great night out. So these are some facts about faux leather that I believe you should keep in mind if you're considering ever purchasing faux leather in the future. Sorry to interrupt guys, but just a quick note. Hi guys! If you just so happen to just click on my video, you are new, please click the red subscribe button. So here they are guys, if you click on these buttons, you'll be part of my channel and you'll be notified when I post new videos. And most importantly guys, it's free. Thank you so much for subscribing. Love ya! Let's get back to the video. This is the sister to the red as well as the black ones. And I really, really love these pieces. And I especially love this color because it's a great spring piece. And I was really looking to bring this out for the spring because I love this color on me. But guys, I went to look for this piece and... It was a huge disappointment again because the same thing that happened to the red piece above a similar thing happened but at the same time I really didn't expect this to be this damage these definitely are not made to last and it's the reason why I would never ever purchase these items again I am sharing this lesson learned to those of you who currently have four items like these in your closet so that you avoid damaging them like I did. But as you know, I'm going to continue to wear this piece if I could disguise and hide where it is damaged, I would and I would continue to do so and definitely wear this piece until I could no longer wear it so it's already in your closet there's no point in beating yourself up you we have all made mistakes as I've said you can embrace your perfect imperfections in many ways one is to accept and embrace the flaws you think you may have and find suitable ways to hide them or camouflage them by wearing clothing items that you find make you feel comfortable and confident and at the same time another way you can view yourself as being imperfect is when you invest in items that you have regrets about and this is me and my imperfections at its best because I have definitely regretted purchasing these items and that is why I would never ever incorporate faux leather into my wardrobe again. For me going forward one of my ways in which I would incorporate leather into my wardrobe is to go thrifting for pieces that have already been produced and in doing so this reduces the demand for leather and the production of leather on the market and in the spirit of the environment it's important that we pay attention to the current global pandemic and to take care of ourselves and those around us by considering these symptoms item number four while it's not faux leather it is as guilty as a faux leather item because it's the same material 95% polyester, 5% spandex. Guys, yeah, this is a very unforgiving piece. And while I do not forgive myself <laughs> just yet for being so foolish as to invest in such cheap and oh, environmentally 
destructive fabric, it is a piece that if you are conscious of any body flaws, it's definitely something that you should never ever buy. So this piece is not only environmentally unsustainable, it's very, very, it is uncomfortable in the sense that it's something that you always have to keep on readjusting as you see here. And this is the case for most of these items. It's not just the fabric, which is a huge issue on its own in terms of being so bad for the environment. But it's the fact that these items, they often fit very poorly. And while we can buy them and hide them by wearing the perfect undergarments, the same can be said that if you are uncomfortable in an item, if you always have to keep on adjusting and readjusting, it means that this is, this is not for you. It's either ill-fitting or the fabric is bad or it's just not meant for you. So these are the reasons why I would not be investing in any of these pieces again, regardless of how pretty they are and how great they look or not look, as is this case, they would not be repurchased. Hope you enjoyed this video and remember, sustainability matters, which means you focus on natural fibers, fabric, then fit, then style, and you don't buy new polyester items. Polyester is bad. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and as I always say, remember to always love yourself and to accept your perfect imperfections because they are what make you unique and drop dead gorgeous. Love you.